Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Hobby and Craft Room. This is going to be a brief update on my model train layout, the Cobb Mountain Railroad. And it's going to be brief because I really haven't done anything with it much. I'll say much. <laughs> Two reasons. One, finances. You know, I, I need to get some more switch tracks and the, the Kato switch tracks are like $20 a pop. Um, and I haven't been able to, you know, get that money set aside. But more, more of a stumbling block is coming out from behind the roundhouse. I have a grade that goes up and goes through a mountain and then goes across one bridge and, and another bridge uh, behind what I want to be a like a downtown scene and the grade was just I, I made it way too steep I, I, I mean it went from zero to maybe two and a half three inches in a foot and a half um, I almost figured that that was like an eight percent grade. The the my switch engines and the forty four ton would make it fine by itself. But if you put any cars or anything on it, it it would just spin. And I I just got flustered. So and the the bridge that um the second bridge is like an inch higher than it needs to be. I mean it could be that high off you know above the 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 track and stuff like that the clearance for the car, the trains going underneath it could be that tall but it doesn't have to be so I, I'm like at three inches um the bridge height of you know above the deck and so I just made the grade too steep and it was frustrating me and I finally, last weekend, I finally just said the heck with it. And I started to tear out the mountain. The, the, the other thing was the mountain. I didn't like how the mountain came out. It, it was too flat. It just, it just, it didn't fit what I wanted. And the other problem was I put the cart before the horse and I built the mountain. Then I tried to run the, the Kato track through it and connect it and, you know, whatever. And it just, that whole area, so I tore out the mountain, I tore out, I'm tearing out, like, the. I, what I did was I, I used um, Woodland Scenics risers, uh, the two inch, and then the inch above that, and I just hot glued it. So I'm taking the inch layer off and leaving the two inch, and then I'm going to order the Woodland Scenics incline, the 2% incline, That'll give me a slider, you know, and it's like two feet long each. And so it's just going to give me a, a smoother incline, and I don't have to be as high going across the bridge. I lower the, the bridge an inch, and hopefully I can get going again where, you know, this wasn't as frustrating. So, um, hope you come back and check us out. Check me out. Um, I'll, I'm going to start doing stuff on Instagram more, try and do stuff on Instagram more, try and do stuff here um, on YouTube and post it and uh, um, hope you come back regularly. Thanks. Bye.